Well, hello. We are back for another Bible review. Uh, been a while, and uh, this one's a little bit overdue. I was, tried to do it a couple weeks ago, but wasn't able to get it in. But now I'm on vacation. Now my school semester has ended, so I got some time on my hands. So we're going to do a Bible review for this. The Church Bible Publishers hand sized Thompson Chain Bible. And uh, I got another one here I'm going to compare it to a little bit later. That was my first Thompson Chain, but I don't really use it because it's New King James and I don't really care for that. This one's King James Version. So I'll probably get some use out of this one. But this is, you know. If you've watched, if you've seen church Bibles before, then you know what you can expect here. There's the grain. Got the Holy Bible stamped on the front. Got the tooling line. Got the stitching around the edge. Got the raised hubs. CBP, King James, red letter, Holy Bible. Inside, you got your iron calfskin, your synthetic liner, corners. Everybody, all the Bible reviewers, they like to show corners. So there you go. Edge line up under the tab there. So you got you know your pages. First two, do not tear them apart now. Don't tear them apart. Got your card stock. Title page to the Thompson Chain there, fifth improved edition. And we got your, see if I can zoom, focus, see if I can focus. 370C1BK. Copyright page, contents, books of the Old Testament, books of the New Testament. Comprehensive Bible helps. What page you can find them on. Preface to the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. The analytical and synthetic system of Bible study. I suppose if you've had a Thompson before, you kind of know what you're getting here. Explanation of the margins, text, cyclopedia, and the journey and the journey maps. Practical advantages of this Bible: key to the pronunciation of proper names. There's the river of inspiration for the Old Testament and the New. And then there's Genesis. So I believe this is a seven point font. I do not have it on hand at the moment. Let me let me grab my Yeah, that looks to be Seven point. I'll let you be the judge. Looks like seven point to me. So it's pretty small, but it's also pretty bold. So I don't, I was worried about it myself when I got it. Like, am I going to be able to see this? But it's small, but it's bold. So it's not too hard to. Of course, the stuff in the margins pretty bold too. Go look at the red letter. There's a bunch of red letter. Decent red letter, not pink, but not brick red either. Uh, what is it people like to show? 
the self-pronouncing text. It's your New Testament title page. Contrast to the Old New Testament. There's your self-pronouncing. You also get two black ribbons. the end of Revelation. So there is your actual Bible. And here is your actual helps. No shortage of helps there. That's almost like another thin line Bible just added in. There's your gold guilting. So I'm not going to go through all the helps because I mean, it's a Thompson, it's got the helps that a Thompson has in it. But, eight departments. First, text cyclopedia. Second, Bible readings. Third, outline studies of the Bible. Fourth, studies of prominent Bible characters. Fifth, Bible harmonies and illustrated studies. Sixth, archaeological supplement. Seventh, concordance. Eighth, colored Bible atlas. So that's what you're going to get all through here. Index. Here's where your numbers will be. So if you see a number in the margin where you're reading, you can come back here and look up the margin and get all you need to know about it. You can see those signatures. I like that. The separation of the signatures there. It's got a bunch of cool stuff in it. Like I said, you probably had a Thompson chain before, but I haven't. Not really. The other one I got, which I'm about to show you. All kind of cool little maps and charts, stuff like that. So size-wise, it's a hand size, like I mentioned, but it's actually smaller than, I have a Nelson, I don't have a Kirkbride, I have a Nelson that's hand-sized that I picked up at a used bookstore, but it's New King James, and I don't really use New King James, so I don't really know why I bought it, but I bought it, probably because it was really cheap. But as far as the size goes, like dimensions, they're basically the same, same width, same height. For the most part the difference is that the church bible publishers want is just a tad bit thinner now that might be the different translation that the fact that there are two different translations that i guess that could possibly have something to do with it but it's just like i don't know quarter of an inch thinner i hate to say that i hate to guess i'm not too good at guessing just a tad bit thinner, as you can see there. So what am I going to compare it to? Uh, since church Bible publishers kind of just started making hand-sized Bibles, I don't really have any of their hand-sized Bibles to compare it to because it's kind of one of the first ones they started making. But I have local church. This is a local church hand-sized Schofield exactly the same dimensions same height same width same thickness so if you got anything hand size from a local church that's what you can expect it'll be the same dimensions and of course it lays flat like a boss like all church bibles do and when i first got it i was just like i kind of just want to get it because i don't have a thompson 
you know, like hand size, you know, easier to turn around. As I don't know if I like it because it's a small font, but I find myself using it quite a bit, even though I kind of need to figure out how to use the uh, the uh, Thompson chain system there, but we'll figure that out. Uh, so that's it. That is the hand-sized Thompson chain from Church and Bible Publishers. Really nice Bible, as always, from Church. So appreciate y'all watching.